and the recommendation will be positive and negative, and then the investment committee has to figure out are there more positives than negatives, then they would go with it. I do need to see some ministers. I need to um, talk to them. I need to see what the regulatory and the legal frameworks are. Um, I need to, of course, sit down with the management for Mega 10, etc. So those, those things I need to do. This was absolutely great. Needed to do it, talk to the, the supply chain. But once that's done, then there's other complexities to um, government officials, etc., etc. We're back in Colombo, new van. We're off to go see a few people today, as well as the Minister for Power and Energy. Um, quite an important figure when it comes to energy policy, etc. We have to have some sort of uh, uh, awareness among our intellectuals, among our people about this renewable energy because this uh, oil and coal mafia are very powerful lobby so, so that uh, they can you know, uh, mislead our people. The, only, the first coal power plant is being constructed and we are hoping to commission that next year. Now, sometime back we from outside were talking about the oil mafia but like the minister himself said there's a coal mafia also. <laughs> So that, that is what has to be realized. By having one or two coal power plants, I don't think we are causing much damage to the, we are, you know, emitting much greenhouse gas. We investors are taking all of the risks to make this country energy self-sufficient. Yet the government and the energy authority, they don't care. Well, the government is always welcoming people who are prepared to come for renewable energy development. The development needs to come through the correct use of energy. I don't think that it has to be coal. I'm just not sold on the fact that if we don't go down the coal route, we don't get energy fast enough so we can't develop. That seems too linear for me and develop itself is so incredibly complex that I think they're selling themselves way too short. From this country's standpoint, it would show you can actually redirect some of that very, very expensive amount of money that we are sending out of this country to buy imported oil and coal that actually we can redirect just a little bit of it and you can raise the standard of living for so many people because they will have money and they will have energy. So there's nothing groundbreaking about it because everything's been done before. It just it hasn't been done in this fashion, that's all.